Oh, hey everybody. This week on Four Points, we're gonna be talking about the new Google Drive, which just got announced. Also, uh, somebody actually created a sonic screwdriver that works, which is kind of epic. The fans have been cutting together the cutscenes of Uncharted to make a feature film on YouTube, which is amazing. Unamazing is uh, uh, people in Utah have decided to make traps to murder people, which is not good. Although we talk about it all with uh, Zachary Levi, so stick around. I'm, ah, I'm what? Stop. Points. This is our first show. Very excited to have you here. Four Points is a weekly show where we have four awesome people sitting at this table talking about four very interesting topics from the week's news. Uh, as this is our first show, just a couple uh, little housekeeping things. Above this video, the whole time there will be a t uh, table of contents link. And since we are now on YouTube, uh, anytime throughout the show, you can click that table of contents link. It'll bring you right back to this moment where you will see a list of the four topics we are going to be talking about. So if you have to get up, go to the bathroom, and your wife changes it to, you know, some other stupid video, you can come back and go, ah, I already heard those two topics. Bam, bam, bam. With me on the panel uh, this week, first off, as always, the lovely and talented, my partner in crime, Allison Hayslip, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Allison. Wait, am, am I as always lovely and talented, or am I as always your partner in crime? Yes. I'd say pick yes. one. Very good. Pick one. Just uh, making sure. Just making maybe sure. next week we'll switch to the other one. It'll be we'll, we'll yes. kind of awesome. Also recently uh, redheaded. Oh, yeah. Don't also adjust your monitor color. Color? 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 color. color? Monitor color. <laughs> I've been drinking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm now a redhead. Try not to stress out about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> so also, every week we're going to be have somebody sit in, in what we call the Nerdist chair. Uh, we're going to be rotating through maybe every four or five episodes. Uh, one of the people on the Nerdist network here, and today we have Justin Don. Donaldson from the Tournament of Nerds. Welcome! Woo! Did you Thank recently you. dye your Thank hair you. too? No, but I've thought about it because you, as you may see, my the hair on my head and it's the hair on my beard, beard is very different. It's so very have, confusing. I've yeah. had people suggest maybe I should pick you should one match and, and go. Yeah, I match have the it. same thing. I have like the sort of really blonde hair and then this kind of like weird dark beard thing. Your hair and your beard look like the exact same See? color. I get that I all the time. What you're about. All the time. <laughs> uh, as our fancy dancy weekly guest for episode one, super excited. Zach Levi is here. Thank you so much. Zach. Huzzah! 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 Uh, so Zach. What is this nerd machine thing? I've, people oh. have been telling me about it, and I don't quite know what it is. Yeah, I just need to have a sip of my Red Bull. Hey, um, we, we do take so, money. <laughs> so we do. Uh, so nerd machine, um, nerd machine is a company that my myself and my uh, partner and very dear friend David Coleman started. Essentially, I was looking around the landscape, uh, having gone to Comic Con for years, and you know, considering myself a nerd as well. Hence, being on Four Points. Yeah, there was a um, lot of uh, we have a lot of shit in the set back here that kinds. he was like, uh, "I'm sorry, I know the guy that designed this thing yeah. from Star Trek." Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah uh, the uh, Klingon Batlev uh, is uh, that that was created by a man named Dan Curry. Uh, some of you in the Star oh. Trek world may no know of Dan. Dan. Well, uh, he did effects on uh, Star Trek for many years, uh, series and movies. And uh, created that sort, even created its technique. I mean, he taught it to the actors that were the Klingons who used it. So, I mean, it's pretty intense. And then, of course, I was admiring your lightsaber mm. collection. Yeah, we kind of have a badass set. It's pretty awesome. I mean, this is the first time people are seeing the set. Yeah. 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 And we kind of yeah. just exploded into it. We there's have three a video There's a Wookiee games. head in the back. There's a Wookiee. I don't know if that's an actual Chewy head or just some MD. I think it's a general MD. Wookiee. Yeah, I and mean, it is. It's a general Wookiee. We also um, have a ton of action figures back action there, which figures. I know Justin is There's a He-Man back there. Well, we have, uh, uh, for, uh, we also have a, uh, um, the two swords from Dark Crystal, actually <gasps> from, oh, yeah. from Henson. So those are actually were in the Dark Crystal, which yeah. is a little bit of a nerd guess. Which, by the way, Six Dark eight. Crystal, yeah. super creepy movie for children. Way oh, creepy yeah. movie right? for children. That movie yeah. tried But by the way, this is one of the things that I don't, I'm going to get back to Nerd Machine, but just to tangent for a second. This is one of the things that I don't appreciate about content today it's so vanilla for kids like we had to survive the content First that off, we watched. although i will say one i totally agree with you but two have you seen any of the avatar series or the uh, uh legend of korra on nickelodeon i have not you, oh you mean seriously avatar the last airbender, avatar, the last airbender yeah. 
great series. It's four yeah. kids, and there's a little kiddie stuff, but it, it's like watching what you wish our cartoons were like All right. from the 80s. I'll give you that. But that's the only one. Because I know even Disney movies back in the day were dark. I mean, people yeah. died, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, but, and you but were in you, one. I was. I was in, I was in <laughs> Tangled, which had its darkness. You know, sure. Mother oh, Gothel, died. out of a, out of a right. tower. You know, I died. I died in the movie. All I right, spoiler alert. I came alert. back to life. Spoiler alert. I came back to life. <laughs> Um, Just but, like but it's that movie. kind of stuff, though. It was like, you know, the dark crystal and... Mm -hmm. um, David Bowie in tights. Dude. Yeah, Labyrinth. Well, Labyrinth. As a child, How about Legend? How about yeah. Legend? Oh, Legend was it. super dark and intense. Yeah. But anyway, so... So I wish I wish that our generation was more tormented. Uh, I don't know. You mean, or rather, not our or rather, the, the current generation was as tormented as yes, we were right. when we were kids. I think it, it grew hair on our chest. Something. Even the ladies. I know, right? That's, um, that's why I have my fuzzy little mic on. Oh my god! Oh actually. come on! Right. Let's not. That's just that's, not, that's just that's uncouth. Um, well, so what? Let's, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. We get into the first topic, let's ladies do it. I was and gentlemen. That's not our topic. Yeah. Topic. That is. That's not our. So our first topic is. Uh, last Tuesday, Google released their, they come out with a lot of new stuff constantly. That's yeah. sort of Google's MO. I mean, we're going to have like Google glasses. Yes. Oh, they do have they Google, do have Google glasses. glasses. I was thinking like glasses. You meant like glassware. Yes. Like your cup is like half empty. Yeah. Like, I can see I that, I get it, Google. Dave. Yeah. You should refill. You're soberish. Uh, <laughs> but Google has now released a, a new concept for a, a product called Google Drive. Right? Yes. Not so, as in driving your car. Not as in driving your car. It's sort of basically like a Google storage thing. And, and it's an app that you install. It's Google's version of Dropbox. But it's not just but Dropbox. It but it's not, it's just, not just Dropbox. Dropbox. Not just. Tell her, Alex. Yeah. Get her. <laughs> it's Google. It's, oh, it's OK. Google. And by the way, that's, just, that's the only difference. I mean, that's the only, only difference, difference is, is, is Google. It, Google. It truly is. It's like, it, it, you know, it's like anything could be an MP3 player, but if it's Apple, that's the one you have to yep, get. I agree. So anything well, can they're be the sexiest. Storage, yeah, they are. They and are. And they work know. the best. Yeah, but they Google, do. Google may work the best, but it is definitely not sexy. Google is a bunch of like, engineering nerds that just go, ah, let's just make it look square, because it's that's the best form. And it's like, all right, I mean, it works, but this is ugly as shit. I was referring more to Apple being the sexy yes, product. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's sexy and it knows it. Oh, I yeah, mean, it's that, it does. It's, it's that it sexy. It brought sexy back. It, it did, did bring oh, now, how many God, people Can here? we stop with this already? How many people <laughs> I know I started it, but can we stop? Yeah, so you can't say stop the puns when you started the puns. Yes. So now, how many people here use Google primarily for primarily for email and, and calendar and docs and stuff like that? Definitely. Do you have a, yeah. are you Gmail man? I'm a, or I'm a, a me.com. In case I meet that random person, it's like, yeah, man, what's your email? I'd love to send you something. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's my name at Yahoo. Well, now you just gave away that secret. So Whatever. You can't use it anymore. <laughs> no, actually, actually. But, I know. But, you're going to be like, but I, I still check you it. four points. No, no, no. And you no. just said only creepy people get this email. I, I still check it. I still give it to some friends, some people. I mean, yeah. it is a, you know, you also need those, like, kind of one-off uh, emails for signing up for certain things or I have, whatever. Yeah, like, I have a Yahoo one mm -hmm. like, like that. Like, you don't want to just spam your inbox on no. your legitimate account, so. LGs. So I, I don't. I do have a Gmail account, but that's that's mainly just for nerd poker, this well, what, group that oh, we're yeah. a part yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. I, I literally sort of willingly turn over all control to, to my to, to my Google. Mm -hmm. Now I am also a shareholder. Oh. oh. But also a, share, but also a <laughs> shareholder <laughs> in Apple. Let me drop a little knowledge on you. I'm just saying. I may own part of the company. Uh, you know, a little, sl a little sliver of that multi-billion dollar company. I literally, I own like an, an amoeba on the toe of Google. Um, Very nice. When, when, when Google Drive got announced, uh, someone tweeted this, and I so apologize to the person who tweeted this because I cannot remember who it is, and I know it is so, so uncouth to use someone's awesome Twitter joke and not give them credit for it. So whoever you are, I apologize. But someone tweeted, uh, if I draw, if I drag my Dropbox into my Google Drive, I'm sure some Inception type shit will start happening. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's funny. Things will just start following into other it's levels so, of the cloud. It's, it's a. Just make sure you have your top. It's five yes. gigabyte free. Five gigabyte by free. You yeah. can upgrade to one terabyte for a little bit of extra cash. Whoa, whoa! What's? The, how do you go from five gigs to one terabyte? What's With a little bit of extra cash? <laughs> With four thousand dollars. I don't know. I don't know. How much is it? Up. Uh, how much is it? Because a terabyte's a lot. I haven't seen Aaron, a price yet. Aaron, do we know? Yet, actually, Aaron's our little googling monkey back there in the back. So Aaron, can Google monkey. We just find monkey. out how much that is. So, but here's the thing about it: is it's it's a drive. So it's almost like if Dropbox met like one of those backup servers yeah. or backup systems yeah, yeah. and slammed together with the ability to share. And what Google said was they were they were like done with people saying, okay, well, we I have this file. It just happens to be bigger than the limit to whatever this stupid you know Yahoo spam or, yeah, thing yeah, sure. is going to catch. But I want to get this file to, to this person, or I'm collaborating on something, yeah. and it's a 170 meg file. You know what I mean? This is a situation where you can kind of sort of like Dropbox, still mirror that information, but you can also back up all 
I, I don't know about the cloud, man. I, I, maybe is, it's this, this is where like things get weird for me. Is I still I know this is the direction everything's going, mm. but I'm still not entirely sure. I want all of my stuff on the internet. On somewhere. the internet yes. somewhere. I agree. Yeah. I totally Good luck agree. fighting it. You can't fight the progress. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm totally, you know, when, when Xbox first introduced um, being able to save stuff to the cloud, I was totally for it because that kind of stuff, I'm like, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. But yeah. you're right, there are things <laughs> like... gamer score? Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, like maybe there's like fo personal photos and things that you don't... I mean, that sounded scandalous. Well, I didn't mean to sound like that, but just things that like, <laughs> you don't need to get randomly Sorry. hacked. This is a very personal, personal cloud, photo, yeah. everybody. Well, but it is true, and and the good news about the Dropbox or the the Dropbox Google Drive <laughs> is that you'll Google be able Dropbox. to choose what you want on there. Well, right, right. Anyway, all right. Point yeah, number yeah, two. Yeah. Point number two. Right. It's people. I love that I'm so keeping everyone on. Yes. I know, I know. Thanks. Welcome That's to Four Points, everybody. You know, amazing. That. Let's get to the next topic. So, a university has created a real working Doctor Who sonic screwdriver. Woohoo! My mind est in the blonin. It's in the blonin and the blonin. It's in the blonin. Yes. Which is Swedish for. Let's, what the f? But let's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that Swedish? Yeah, it was. It was weird. Part I thought it was Swiss. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Yeah. It's, do again, can't stop the progress, and there's a lot of progress I don't want to stop because it's awesome. Like time travel. Like time, whatever. <laughs> Actually, time travel is okay. going to get really screwy. As yeah. much as I would love to travel in time, think about the complications, what implications, What if future Zach also consequences. popped in right here? <laughs> well, he'd be like, like, he'd be like bro, don't, don't, don't say that it. thing you're about no, to no, say. No, 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 no. The cosmos yeah. is yeah, going to yeah, yeah. implode. Um, but, so, so this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. But how much is it really uh, the screwdriver? So this really? is the thing. This is the big thing. The sonic screwdriver is like sort of like the get out of jail free card for, for Doctor, Doctor Who. He's sort of like, oh, uh, you're confused. I'll just sonic screwdriver you in the face. It's yeah. like, Except oh, it doesn't okay. work on wood. Really? He discovers that in the silence in the library. Or he doesn't discover that. He knows the, the irony. Time. You can't use a screwdriver <laughs> on <laughs> exactly, wood. Exactly. The, irony. the massive irony. Well, it's sonic, so. Yeah, it's, it's really more like anything. So really what it does is they, they figured out a way for this device to use sound waves to move a small, like, plastic disc in water. <laughs> so it's really nothing I know, like a sonic I know. screwdriver. First off, it's one of those things where, like, when you see like, oh, they're working on lasers or like plasma, great, we can have lightsabers. It's like, nah, it's the size of like six warehouses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that will create like one little drop of plasma. Like the large for, like, hadron collider. 50 right? seconds, but, right. But, you know, computers used to take up entire warehouses and now, true. Yeah. And now it's Apple here. And then Apple made them sexy. Oh, God. And then Apple made them sexy. <laughs> I'm no, also but true. But, an Apple you know. suck over. But I think that the really cool thing about this, this article was not necessarily the fact that it was like, Doctor Who esque was the idea that they might be able to use it for surgeries and yes. things like yeah. that. Being able to, instead of like cutting you open, being able to use this screwdriver, it sh probably shouldn't even be called a screwdriver, let's be yeah. honest, but whatever it is, to, to move, yes, their magic wand to move a things throughout your body. Tall? But isn't like that just an ultrasound disc. device? An ultrasound doesn't actually move anything. No. It just, well, no, it no, just no, gives I mean, you back like You know, one of the interesting things about the article to me was that they've known for a while mm -hmm. that the sonic waves can push. But what they've been able mm. to now figure out is how to manipulate something. So you can't, ah. it's not just about like, oh, sonic boom you know, and pushing <laughs> something. It's like, oh, I'm going to hold it's something in place. Fighter. I'm going to pull it. something toward me. Got it. Like how you reverse the sonic waves in order to move something around. Yeah. Like, Tristan. That's kind of cool. Justin, are you a Doctor this Who fan? I am not a Doctor Who fan. Get off our panel. And even if I was a Doctor Who fan, I don't think I would really care about this because I feel like I will never use one. I feel like well, I would that's have true. I am not a doctor. Trained Wait, am I the only Doctor Who fan on this panel? No, I said I'm not a doctor. Oh. <laughs> when it comes to like, I was like, you're a doctor. A doctor? In the house? She, I thought you were literally gonna go. <laughs> Wait, I'm the Adam. only doctor on this panel. <laughs> so I was like, don't worry, I'm everyone doctor here, if you have a heart attack. <laughs> I will save you. When it comes to fictional technology, I yeah. still prefer like a hoverboard or. Some where, where the hell is our yes. hoverboard? First off, I wish I could Zemeckis see. Zemeckis totally got us all. Yeah. Do you remember that little thing you released after the movie? What up, Bob? Sorry, you you're just broke out. You know what? Sexy Whatever. IPad. <laughs> Don't break I will. It. I will say this about the Sonic Screwdriver, Doctor Who. Can we all agree that whenever it was introduced, it had to have been that like total like just get out of jail. It was like they had written themselves into a corner. And yeah. Like, but then he had a magic screwdriver <laughs> exactly. that yeah. opened the door. It's literally the, the magic wand. The concept of the show is centered around the fact that they can change their lead actor whenever they want. 
So the Which show, yes. way, the show's Brilliant. been going on for a long time. Brilliant yeah, idea. That's also awesome. Exactly. That's also awesome. I mean, it's I'm such a saying, great idea. Writing themselves into a corner probably is something they do all the time because yeah. they know that they can come up with anything they want to get them yeah, out be. of it. Yeah. Uh, it's basically what all it. soap operas should do rather than like, right. now playing the role of that thing you love is this <laughs> other person you have no fucking idea who they are. That thing you love? <laughs> not not person, soap operas. Not character. Not that thing you love. You sound like an Old Spice commercial. Anything. I sound like one. There's two tickets to that thing. Any you show love. on television should be able to do Why not? that. Actually, yeah. they're going to be a new Brian Williams on the NBC News. That'd be awesome. Hello, Boom. I'm Brian Williams. Hang on, hang on. You're crossing into blasphemy yeah. territory. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just calm down. A little too old. All right. Boom. Sonic screwdriver gonna happen. How it happens, we have no effing idea. But it's gonna happen, so be prepared. Uh, okay. Next topic. Topic three. Yes. Someone <laughs> has taken all of the cinematics from Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, mm -hmm. and turn them into basically a feature film. Right. And put them on YouTube. There's a little bit of gameplay. Three feature films. Three feature films, yes. yes. And there's a little bit of gameplay, where the gameplay involves the story, so it's not just told in a cutscene, because some of the story is not told just in a cutscene. I kind of love this idea. I love this idea for the people who, you know, like my fiance who goes, ah, I don't really like playing video games. I'm like, but this is a great story. You're, it's right. literally Indiana Jones for a, now. You, you should be watching this, but you're never going to see this story told because you're not going to play this video game. That's now true. you get this, the ability to hear, I mean, and it's like a $150 million movie. I mean, you know, they spend so much money developing mm -hmm. these the games. video games. Yeah. And some of these are the best stories, and and I'm happy that they started with Uncharted because I think it's uh, one of the best well, video an, game stories. Yeah. Well, out the, there. yeah, and one of the easy. I mean, the cinematics they created in the games, particularly the third one, but yeah. uh, all of them have been epic. They're they're great. Yeah. I personally, having played all the games and loved all the games, I find it to be an exercise it. in all right. Well, <laughs> us, but I mean, do you, do you know friends that are like not video game people, but would love the story of Uncharted? Yeah, but I don't think they're going to sit down and watch these. I think yeah. these, I think the problem is that the only people who are going to watch these are the, the very fans that put them together, and they're yeah. fans because they played the game, so. And they're constantly going to And I really want to see an Uncharted. Drake. Or Zach, whatever. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I, mean, I meant Zach Levi. I meant I want to see no, Zach come Levi. On. I know everybody wants Nathan. Yeah. Well, when I was a blonde, Everyone kept saying I should be Elena. You could have been. No, I can't. Sorry. Yeah. I could just You've die. You totally my hair just back. died yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that one yeah. up, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. You'll yeah. never be able to change your hair back. No. Nope, so never. you guys, I mean, for me, I was really excited about the prospect of being able to share these story experiences that I had in video games with people who I know are never going to pick up a controller and play a video game. I well, love I anything like this. I'll watch anything like it. I've never played these games. Oh, but perfect. But I love the enthusiasm that fans have for stuff like this. So I'll go on YouTube and I'll watch anything that a fan put together in any sort of genre just because I love the enthusiasm. And that's one of the best things about YouTube has been an outlet for stuff like Absolutely. this. Yeah. And cat videos. And cat videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, that falls under the outlet. <laughs> yeah, well, but it's true. Like, there was that group of people, the, the kids. Did you ever see that the Indiana Jones shot by shot remake that oh, the kids yes. did? Oh, uh, I think Hard I did. Well, they also I think did it with amazing. Star Wars, too. Yeah, but you couldn't get that. That was like a video that, like, if you had, like, a friend of a friend that had a copy of that videotape, you could see it because uh. there wasn't a YouTube. Oh, there wasn't I, a place. Then I'm going to go ahead and retract my statement and say, no, I have not seen that. <laughs> well, I have a copy of it. I, think, I have no friends yeah, of friends. Yeah, somebody, They're all dead. All your friends are all friends my are friends, dead, friends your are friends dead. are safe. My sorry. friends are fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Good. That's but all your I'm friends, friends have been So murdered. just don't become friends, friends with my friends actual friends. friends. That would be a horrible, a horrible idea. I would contact the authorities. Which is funny because that kind of rolls right into our last topic. Oh, point four. Point four, which is homicidal lunatics. Yes. Everybody yeah. loves them some homicidal lunatics. Do they? Well, maybe. Sometimes. Only when they're in theory. On, in theory. Yeah. In theory. Oh, yes. death row. In theory, people love yes. homicidal maniacs. That's why we have so <laughs> many procedural shows. So this kind of blew my mind. Yeah. A park, a forest service officer on a patrol, foot patrol in Utah found what we now know is a shelter. <laughs> found <laughs> <We're> <laughs> debating. Backstory. Backstory. I was, I was trying inside to explain joke. this to them earlier, <laughs> yeah. and I could a, not think of the hovel. word a hovel, a, a hovel. domicile. Like a hovel. Uh, not a tent. A it's not a tent. It's not no. a tent. It's a shelter of it's sorts. Shelter they have of shelters sorts. along this trail. Yes. Continue. This pair of homicidal maniacs decided that they were going to rig these shelters with medieval style murder traps murder they're booby traps but i like murder traps murder traps is way more <laughs> yeah. explicit because it's not like yeah. oh what my booby popped out it's like no you just got murdered in the face 
Is that you know what, what I mean? booby traps are supposed to do? Make your booby pop out? No, it's supposed no. to make you feel like a boob because so you fell into yeah. it. There it is. Yeah. That's better. I'm assuming. All right. <laughs> I've never found I don't speak from personal experience. Do booby traps only work on women? Look, slick shoes. Do. Yeah. Yeah. And they're called dick traps if they um. oh. so yeah, that's horrible. Anyway, so uh, these murder traps were literally like giant ball stones, like with yeah, it was spikes like a huge rock. to yeah. come and murder it's people. It's what in the you'd face. kill the predator with if you were Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, it looked in a lot the like jungle. The predator. Well, it, it was vaguely like Hunger Games esque. Yeah. You know, I feel like these were two people who might have been way too obsessed with the Stop Hunger Games. Stop trumping my film correlation with the only more you relevant were, one. The only reason I trumped it is because these were younger guys, and I was mm. like, yeah. Battle Trust Royale. Me, I am cooler. so excited yeah. for the guy that found these. Because you know, yes. he's probably just like a park ranger. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Probably he's just out there. Like, he's kind of a cop, but not really. <laughs> he's just really nice. And he thinks, like, oh, nothing's ever happening out here. And he probably has, like, a, just yeah. a wild yeah. imagination of, yeah. like, finding a bear or something. Yeah. And then he runs into, like, yeah. Medieval murder like, traps. Like, like, that, like, that, that like, moment. And he didn't moment. get murdered. Moment, yeah, he, he made found it. Them. He made it. That uh, moment that he typically has every day, just walking tree. Squirrel, yeah. squirrel, booby, booby trap, <laughs> booby trap. I gotta call somebody. Well, and apparently Amazing. this guy was in the military or had some sort of military training yes. where he was on a, a kind that's of bomb squad. That's how he was able squad. to recognize so the tripwire. So he recognized a tripwire. Yeah. So, that's even better. But, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. He was like, Because Wait here's a the thing. Had it been, well, first off, we don't know if his, his friend first found them by being murdered. And then he I'm found them. I'm sure that would have made the article. That would have. So nobody yeah. got murdered. Uh, nobody got murdered. Everybody's happy. Christ Utah is, is finally safe again. <laughs> uh, well, and the best part is that they found the two guys who did this, yeah. but they used Facebook, Facebook yeah. to find them. They, First off, if idiots. you're planning on doing idiots. any kind of plot, I mean, if you didn't know that they were idiots just from what they were plotting, yeah. Yeah. then, you, you know, but then to take it this a step further, clearly. This is why I'm worried about the Google Drive. They could find my plans for my medieval this is true. This is true. Devices. That would be amazing if somebody came in and was like, uh, this Google Drive guy's got these plans for this medieval trap we found. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, I just sold it to some kids in Utah. I don't know what Do you happened. just have pots of, like, boiling oil hanging over certain yeah. walls <laughs> ready for, yeah. oh, God! No! my Google Drive. <laughs> Well, that was intellectually stimulating and weird, which yeah. is awesome. That's sort of what we're, we're, we're shooting for That's four on points. the show. That's four that points. is four yeah. points. Uh, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the first ever episode Woo! of Four Points. Very excited. Thank you, Zach Levi, for coming in. Thank you. And sitting yes. in. We're going to shake hands. That was impromptu. That's and fine. And, Justin, we will see you next week. Thank oh, no you handshake? What the deal? Week. We'll shake hands. High, high, we'll high five. High five the man. Right in front of Allison. Jeez. And Allison's have, lovely. Oh, yeah, you are coming back. Everybody, right, never back. mind. Bam! Yeah. I'm not we will back. see you next Ever. week. I think that worked out pretty well. Good work, guys. And we didn't even really get to play any video games. No, no. that's the worst part.